Paleo Con, which I'm currently at, and just shows the schedule. Um, pretty simple. This is my first Swift app, and I wanted to uh, walk you through some of the neat Swift things real quick. Um, first, you'll notice I have a emoji variable. Um, this is kind of silly. I just did it, you know, because we can now. But um, this is an IVAR, and I can talk to it and get things out of it. It's just a uh, NS array, which is pretty funny. So um, Swift obviously adds these new amazing collection types, like um, you know their array and their dictionary and whatever. Um, but they're all like typed, you know. So you have to put the same types in in the, the arrays. So if you fall back and use the NS ones or you know NS dictionary or whatever. You can do just like you did before, um, which is really cool. So, if you're having trouble converting your data into something that works nicely in, in um, the Swift collections, feel free to just fall back and use the old types. Um, this is a really awesome pattern. I'll show you in a different file. Um, yeah, we'll do it here. It's fine. So I have this line view, and I in in um, init I add it as a sub view to my content view. Um, you can see I just do at lazy var, and then make sure it's a, uh, a UI view, and then set a closure to it, and then immediately call the closure. So basically, this means that whenever we talk to line view for the first time, which is right here, it'll run this code, it'll make a new view, set it up, and return it, and now that gets added to my sub view, and it's always the same now. Um, so which is pretty cool. You can even, um, like, it, it's basically a constant, but we could change it if we wanted to. We could instead do uh, let here instead, which is pretty neat. But um, this way, as soon as it's initialized, this gets allocated. So for whatever reason, if we made one of these views and then threw them away, we'd, like, allocate this and then throw it away. So this way, it's lazy. Uh, it only gets initialized once, but it's still, um, you know, do whatever you want with it. I don't know. So I feel like lazy var is a little better than let, but it's you know it's um, it's kind of all the same except for you can change line if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, this like equal to a uh, a closure is pretty sweet. I'm a big fan. Um, another neat thing. Um, so this view is a UI visual effect view, which adds the new blurring stuff in seven. You can see there's like the it blurs right right here. It looks really terrible on the simulator. On the device, it looks even worse, but uh, I'm sure they'll uh, they'll improve it. Um, so here, you have to initialize with an effect, and I'll call super in it with a blur effect and pass in the light mode. Um, actually, I'm going to pass in the effect that was passed in. There's a bug. Cool. All right. Well, anyway, um, and set it all up. But then. It, Wherever I use this view, I have to pass in the effect, which is annoying because I want to use the same effect everywhere. Um, so you can make a convenience initializer, um, which is a kind of a funny keyword. I have a really hard time spelling. Um, but you can call self init here and pass in the effect. So now whenever I initialize it, I can just do, uh, I'll show you. Um, I can just set it right here. I don't have to pass in any options, and it'll automatically set it up for me, um, which is really nice. So I can use the same effect everywhere. Um, and also note here I'm using just dot extra light. Um, this is actually the same as um, what is it UI blur effect style. So these are synonymous, uh, and since it can infer the type, you don't need this, um, which is great. So like you can see down here in some auto layout code. Oh, different file. Let's find it. Yeah, see I just have like attribute dot width dot equal, you know, and whatever. So like here center y. Which is amazing, because in Objective C, like we had to type out the whole constant, and it was like, you know, these lines of code became super long. I mean, they're still pretty long, but they're not like insanely long, um, which is great. So I'm a big fan of that. Um, also, this is a really nice thing. These indent nicely now. They're not stupid like the dictionary ones. Um, so uh, so yeah, there was a couple other things I wanted to show you. Let's see if I can. Find it. Oh, in app delegate, instead of making window an optional and having to do like question dot equal everywhere uh, or question dot everywhere like the template generates, I do that same lazy var pattern, set up my window and then return it, and then all I have to do is window make key invisible. 
And I do the same like lazy uh, accessor thing in um, in Objective C like for everything basically because it makes all of this really nice. You know, I have like the initialization here and here. You know, I have all my little pieces. And then here I just add them all subviews and that sets them up. Uh, I don't have this like huge massive like allocation code in my init. It's all spread out in my accessors. Um, so if I want to change something, it's easy to find where it is versus, you know, in this one giant method. Um, and normally I actually move all of this to a separate method too called setup constraints, but I, I didn't this time. Um, anyway, this is also really cool using the did set keyword. So I have just a, a var called minor, and that makes it um, denotes if it's like gray or if it's not gray. Um, and instead of overriding the setter and the getter, you can just override the did set and then do whatever you want. I can get minor and then set my colors appropriately. So that's really neat. And then here I'll just set it up to false before you call super. That's because you're supposed to set up your uh, IVARs before you call super in Swift. So. Anyway, hopefully this is helpful. I don't know. Um, this is all on GitHub. It's just github.com slash sophus slash valio. Um, and yeah, let me know on Twitter if you know there's anything else you want to see or have me explain about this project. Uh, I'm really excited to get going with Swift, and I uh, hope you are too. Thanks for watching.